North Korea fired artillery shots near its border with South Korea for the third day in a row, raising tensions on the maritime border. According to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the North fired some 90 artillery shots into waters off its western coast Sunday. South Korea's military detected the artillery firings into the maritime buffer zone north of the Northern Limit Line, the de facto maritime border in the Yellow Sea, and South Korea's border island of Yeonpyeong from about 4 p.m. to 5.10 p.m. The buffer zone was set under a 2018 inter-Korean military accord designed to reduce tensions along the border. There was no damage to the country's military or civilians from the latest firing. The North's latest action marked the third consecutive day of its artillery drills in the area. On Friday, North Korea fired some 200 artillery shells from its southwestern coastal areas, prompting the South Korean troops on the frontline islands of Yeonpyeong and Pengyong to stage live fire drills near the buffer zone for the first time since the signing of the 2018 pact. The Friday firing marked the 16th one of its kind into the zone, including a missile launch in 2022. Even on Saturday, the North carried out live-fire drills in the area for the second day to fire around 60 shells into the buffer zone, according to the JCS. Meanwhile, regarding the Saturday's firing, Kim Yo-jung, the powerful sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, claimed the North conducted a deceptive operation by detonating explosives, simulating the sound of 130mm coastal artillery the previous day, deriding the South Korean military's detection capabilities. In her statement on Sunday, Kim said North Korea did not fire a single round on Saturday, and that South Korea misjudged the blasting sounds as the sound of gunfire and conjectured it as a provocation, making it a false and impudent statement that the shells dropped north of the sea boundary. The JCS, however, dismissed Kim's statement, calling it comedic low-grade propaganda, attempting to cause division within South Korea and damage trust in the military. On Monday, the JCS also declared that the maritime buffer zone with North Korea no longer exists, as the North has breached the September 19th agreement over 3,600 times and has conducted artillery fire in the West Sea over the last three days.